Hi, and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how we can get some sound from this Kindle onto one of the school computers so that you can edit it for your animatron projects. Once you've got the uh, recording onto your Kindle, you're going to need to use one of these cables, these USB cables, and you're going to plug that into the charging socket on the Kindle, and the other end needs to be plugged into the USB socket on the front of the computer. Once you've connected the Kindle Fire up to the school computer, you should be able to open this PC and you should see that inside Devices and Drives there's an entry for Fire, which you can double click on. If it's not there, then uh, just wait a little bit longer and it will eventually appear. You may need to press this refresh button up here. Once you've opened the Kindle Fire, um, you'll see a drive called Internal Storage. Double click on that and you should see loads of folders, one of which is Easy Voice Recorder, which again you need to double click on. Inside the Easy Voice Recorder folder will be some recordings, uh, and hopefully you've named your recording so that you know which one it is that you need to uh, right click on and copy. And once you've copied it, you're then gonna go to one of your folders in your digital literacy uh, subjects area, and you can paste uh, your audio file. Once it's copied, you can then disconnect the Kindle and someone else can use it. So I'm now inside my um, user area where I've pasted my audio file and I want to do some editing on this. And this is why we need to use the school computers because we're going to use some software called Audacity. Now you can find that by going to the uh, start menu and if you press, actually you can just search. So if we go to the search and start typing AUD it will turn up and it's this one with headphones. And inside Audacity, I want you to go to the file menu and open, and we need to find your original file. Once you've found your file, just double click to open it. And if Audacity comes up with a warning, you can just say, make a copy of the file and press okay. So you'll now see the waveform of your audio file. And hopefully, you've left some decent spaces between each of the statements that you need in your animation. That will just make it easier to do some cutting up of our audio now. Now, the thing we need to do is separate each different part into uh, different files so that we can load each one individually into Animatron. So the easy way to do that is just click and drag from the start to the end of your first bit of speech. Go to File, Export Selected Audio, make sure you're saving it in the WAV format, and just maybe make a new folder, um, let's call this Sections of Speech, and inside that folder you can save each file. Now so that you can easily identify them, um, you should probably name them in a very similar way to the actual speech they contain. So this first one is um, hello there. So I'm gonna call that file hello there and press save. In this next bit, you can just press okay and that's exported that bit of audio. Now, the next bit uh, of audio in my file is the words it's great to see you. So again, I'm, I've selected it, and I'm going to go to Export Selected Audio, and I'm going to call this It's Great to See You, Save, OK. And my last one is Welcome to My Video. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to go File, Export Selected Audio, and call this Welcome to My Video, and press Save. And press OK. And now I've exported the audio for my video. And if I go back to my animatron project and go into sections of speech, there are the three files that I've just exported. So now we need to go into animatron studio where we're going to import these files. So here's my animation project. It's not terribly good. Um, it just has a little person walking along the screen or sort of moving. They do a little jump and a bit of a wave. Um, I'm hoping that yours are going to be a lot better than that, but it's good enough for me to show you how to import audio. So all you need to do is go to the import button at the top of your uh, window, 
And where it says select files, click on that. And then you need to go and find your uh, exported audio files. And if you've got more than one, just click and drag a box to select them all and press open. And they will start uploading into Animatron. Once they're loaded, you'll see a little musical notes icon by them. And when they're all there, you can press finish. And you'll see that they've been added to your timeline just wherever your uh, playhead was. So in my case, they've been added to the end. Now, this is where it's really helpful that we've named them because you know exactly what each file is. So I would like the hello there message right at the start. So I'm going to click on that one and drag it over to the beginning. Uh, I need to move it a little bit in because he doesn't get his hair until a few seconds in. Right, so at the beginning it's going to say hello there. And then maybe here when he starts walking, I'm going to put welcome to my video. And then towards the end, I'm going to drag it's great to see you. And if I play that back now, you won't hear it in the recording, but I'll hear that there's some sound. So yes, I can confirm that that has worked. And that's all you need to do in order to get your audio into your animatron project. So, as a recap of the steps, you need to copy the sound from the Kindle Fire by plugging it in and going to the Fire and then Easy, um, easy Audio Recordings folder. Uh, then you need to cut your audio into separate files using Audacity. And then you need to upload all of your separate audio files uh, to Animatron using the Import function. And once they're in, then you just need to move them around on your timeline so that they're in the right place for you.